Foundation, Taiwan Smart City Solution Alliance. Baruch, the very wonderful organization combining with different industry and we come to join together. And Jason Chen is also chairman for Acer Group, a very important local company. And then the second one I would like to introduce is the co-host, uh, co the co-host city from Kaohsiung City Government, Deputy Mayor Charles Lee. This will also, uh, two days after, uh, the, another opening in Kaohsiung will take place. And the third one I would like to introduce to Mr. Marco Elrich, County Executive, Montgomery County, Maryland, United States. Welcome. And the next guest is Mr. Rizarslav Shrek, President of the Vaisal uh, Kina region, Czech Republic, from Europe. Welcome as well. And Mr. David Golin, Head of the Global Innovation Partnership, Innovec, United Kingdom. Thank you for coming. So uh, after the introduction, I would like to keep uh, our guests on the stage. Each of everyone, I will be giving a question and they can respond based on your understanding. After that, if more time, then we'll open the floor for the uh, journalists uh, there. So first one, first question, I would like to go to Mr. Jason Chen. As the chairman of the Taiwan Smart City Solutions Alliance and the chairman of the Acer Group, as also the organizer for the Smart City Summit and Expo. Would you please explain the significance of this summit and the expo for the global cities? And additionally, who does it mean? What, what does it mean for the long established computer company, Acer Group? Uh, Two questions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to start with, on behalf of uh, the Smart City Alliance, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome, uh, welcome our uh, respectful uh, guest and also the friends from all over the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to Taipei. Thank you for coming to this trade show. Uh, this trade show has been 10 years already. This year is our 11th year. Uh, in between, I was talking to uh, Mr. Eric that uh, he has been here second time, right? Second time. Uh, every time we have seen new things new innovations, new solutions. And when the technology evolves, well, we are very excited to see more participants, both from public sector as well as private sectors, come with demonstration of success as well as good ideas, good innovations. This year, especially artificial intelligence based smart solutions. And all of them are talking for one thing. The same target is to enhance the ESG and the re resilience of the cities and make our city to be smarter. And that's both for the alliance and also the objective for ASAP Corporation coming to this event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Um, all right, the second question goes to the Deputy Mayor of Kaohsiung, Charles Lin. Uh, you have been the Deputy Mayor in Taipei City and now in Kaohsiung City, and I am sure you are a many important supporter for these two cities joining the Smart City Summit and Expo. So the question is, uh, so you actively promoting the development of Smart City and supporting it in two cities. Can you share the media based on your experience, what is the greatest benefit that promoting smart city can bring the urban development and how should global city leverage the smart city summit as well platform? Thank you, thank you everyone. And the, uh, I'm on behalf of the city of Kaohsiung. Uh, uh, previously, I was the uh, deputy mayor in the city of Taipei. But right now, I also serve the deputy mayor of uh, Kaohsiung. It's in the two city. But starting from the 2016, there will be uh, a big fun in that the uh, I city. When TCA, the Taipei Computer uh, Association, they are holding the, uh, this kind of uh, uh, trade show, they were a very important opportunity for the local government to join in. You don't have to uh, uh, take a, a, a if, if you are not the uh, uh, expertise, but you are the city, the city will be the most important uh, field for the uh, industry, especially for the small city. Uh, so it's very happy to know that we are in this kind of uh, experience that the trade is going to the uh, uh, 11 first times in the city of Taipei. But also I will use this opportunity to, to announce you that the uh, Kaohsiung and Taipei, they were simultaneously 
will have a two show. So after this, and uh, along with the, the, the show in Taipei right now, we will start from the two, uh, 21st of this March to the 23rd in Kaohsiung. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the goal of the, uh, hosting a smart city and export is, is which is in Taiwan, is trying to uh, show the uh, Taiwan's ICT industry diverse smart city solutions, <laughs> as the, uh, Johnson said. Uh, Jason. Uh, uh, Jason said, okay. <laughs> well, uh, also you will allow uh, international dedication from different uh, various city industry and uh, regions to uh, explore the cooperation opportunity for implementing this uh, smart solution overseas. Uh, to me, as a typical mayor, I'm looking on the, what, is, what the citizen feel like, what, what, what they need. But this is more than a thing after 10 years, even, even though I'm, I'm, I'm right now in the Kaohsiung City. And Kaohsiung City is quite different from the Taipei. I always say the, uh, it's, uh, in Taiwan, Kaohsiung is a kitchen. Taipei is a, is a living room. <laughs> living room and a showroom. <laughs> but Kaohsiung is a, is a kitchen. Let me, uh, but the kitchen is open kitchen. Open kitchen. When the uh, starting uh, five decades ago, the, the central government designated the city of Kaohsiung to become a very heavy industry city. So the city needs to be transformed. That. Starting from the uh, three years ago, I served as a deputy mayor in Kaohsiung. So I persuaded the city mayors to join the TCA, to join the uh, 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 Taiwan uh, Smart City Solution Alliance. We should be part of the uh, co-organizers. And that would be means that the, uh, it would be better for the city to deliver the better service. Listen to me, that would be very important. If the city don't join the city solution, if the city doesn't provide a platform for the smart city, or even you want to go to zero, it won't work. Especially, it's, it's very important to cross borders, including the public and private sector. So what, what's the major role that the, the, the government can do is the, uh, you can open the funding. You can su support them, the, uh, open the city as a smart open, open the city everywhere. If the, the industry can, can ask us, we will open the field for them, for the test bank. Every solution needs test bank. And all these solutions will come to the citizens a need. So you, you are the player, you are the game changers. So in, in this kind of things that the, uh, the really good. So the Kaohsiung right now, I'm, I'm saying yeah, we plan to use the positions to communicate with the international delegations, all the visitors, all of the, uh, uh, again, again, such as the, uh, Mr. Eric, the second time to, I, I think the ma major purpose is trying to go to this trade show and uh, uh, also, the goal is try to identify and develop sustainable business models because we can benefit each other and uh, we can be an uh, engine, we can be the platform to try to move the industry across borders, uh, even uh, uh, the foreign and the domestic industry to go together to solve the problem. So, uh, Taiwan is a small, small country, but in terms of ICT, it's a big country. So what, what, and also most of the, most of the people in the world, they recognize the hardware of Taiwan. But believe me, Taiwan is also very strong in the software. So, but the software is need to be, dri be driven by the city government. So the government of the city or the region or the central government need to be provided some, sen some incentive and also provide a test bed and also provide a more uh, a platform that the, uh, the, the, this kind of uh, smart city or the net zeros will be uh, going to uh, faster and faster. Let me say again, uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, go to zero, it becomes a uh, common sense, it becomes uh, the whole for common sense. But I, I, I don't want to go to zero, I want to run to zero <laughs> because it's quite limited. So you have to uh, perform very well. So in, in, in terms of the uh, 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 carbon dioxide generation in Kaohsiung, as I said, it's, a, it's an open kitchen. Do you know that 20% of the carbon dioxide is coming from Kaohsiung? So for us, the round to zero is a survival game. We need to use the ICT solution to accelerate the round to zero. 
as a good path. So this is why we uh, still insist that we should join the DCA and we should open open the, the city and uh, we should satisfy the city's needs. So uh, uh, again, I say the, the role of the city government is quite important and uh, uh, without any diplomatic uh, limitations, we should be, uh, push forward in pursuit of a better business, in pursuit of a better uh, goodness for the citizen. That would be the uh, major role of the, this trade also behind the trade, the city government, what a role he, he can provide. Thank you. Wow, okay, thank you very much.